Now we're going to talk about how we choose the correct method in order to solve a quadratic equation. So how do you know just looking at a problem which method to use? Because we've shown four different methods. So the methods are factoring, the square root property, completing the square, and the quadratic formula. And so, what we need to do is we need to look at the problem and determine what method we use. So the easiest way to do that is to first look at the instructions. The very first thing you should use is use the method you're told to. It's very important that if the instructions say to factor, that you use factoring. That if it says use the square root property, use the square root property. If it says to complete the square, that you use completing the square. And if it says use the quadratic formula, then you should use the quadratic formula. And the primary reason for that is because that these methods you need practice with. And they all have different times where they get used. And knowing when to use which one, can, it will greatly speed up your ability to get through the homework. So, let's suppose that you're on a test, though, because on tests, I tend not to specify a method. I just ask you to solve. So, how do you know which method's going to be the best one? So, the second thing I look for is that I have something with a variable in it squared equals just a number. In other words, I want b to be 0 in my ax squared plus bx plus c formula. If this is true, even if it's something like x minus 3 squared, equals 9, then I'm ready for the square root property. So if this, if this is true, then use the square root property, because it's already set up for it. If it's not, if you have a b that's not 0, then look to see if it factors. If you see the factors, if they just jump right out at you, it's, you look at it and you say, hey, this looks factorable, then factor. But if you don't have, if you don't see it factor, even if it does, if it doesn't immediately jump out at you and say, hey, I'm factorable, you should immediately use, as your last resort, the quadratic formula. That's just the last thing we use. Because it's a lot of plugging and chugging. It's a little bit easier than completing the square, though. But if you can use one of the easier methods, such as the square root property, or if you can see it factoring, then use those. But if you don't, just use as your default the quadratic formula property. And that's how you decide what method to use to solve a quadratic equation.